Okay, this is lesson 2.4, variables on both sides. Problems you're going to see in this lesson will have variables on both sides of the equation. That's why it's called variables on both sides. The learning target, obviously, is to solve equations with variables on both sides. Now, you may have learned a way to solve these problems, and it may be different the way than the way I'm going to show you how to solve it, but this is the quickest easiest way to solve equations that have variables on both sides and it keeps your work nice and compact. So here's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to identify the variables on both sides of the equations. In this problem, problem 1a, there's a 5x and a 2x. You're going to look at those two variables, 5x and 2x, and you're going to figure out which one's bigger. In this case, 5x is bigger than 2x. And you're going to identify the side of the equation that has the bigger variable. And then you're going to put a little V over the top of that side of the equation. Because it's this side of the equation that you want to have all the variables on when solving the equation. Once you've chosen the variable side, then the other side of the equation is where you want all of the numbers or the constants to end up. So you're going to put a little number symbol above that. So one more time, when you solve an equation with variables on both sides, you pick one side to be the variable side, and then the other side automatically becomes the number side. Now on the variable side, this side, you only want variable terms. 5x is a variable term. So I want to get rid of anything on the variable side that isn't a variable, and that would be the plus 2. So to get rid of plus 2, you subtract 2. What you do on one side of the equation, you do on the other side. Now, you could put this minus 2 right here, but you're going to want to line up the minus 2 with the other number. So you're going to put it under the 14. And then in the same step, you're going to look at the number side, this side, and you want only numbers. 14 is a number, 2x is a variable term. So you're going to get rid of the variable on the number side by subtracting it. Subtract 2x. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. So I'm going to subtract 2x. But again, you don't just write the 2x anywhere. You're going to line it up with the other variable. So in one step, I'm going to gather all the variables on one side by eliminating the numbers this 2 and this minus 2 cancel, and I'm left with just variables. On the other side, I want to gather up all the numbers, so I get rid of the variables. These cancel out. The only thing left I have is numbers. On the left-hand side, 5x minus 2x is 3x. On the right-hand side of the equation, 14 minus 2 is 12. And now you've taken a complex variables on both side equation and you've simplified it in one step to just a one step equation. To finish this, 3x equals 12, you divide both sides by 3 and you get x equals 4. And that's the easiest way to solve a problem that has variables on both sides. So let's look at another one. Copy problem 1b and it says 7 minus 3n equals negative 5n plus 15. First thing you're going to do is identify the two variables. Now here's where you have to be careful. On this side, this, the variable is negative 3n, and on the other side, it's negative 5n. When you compare negative 3n and negative 5n, which one's bigger? Well, when they're negative, it's like the opposite. So in this case, negative 3n is bigger than negative 5n. So the negative 3n is the side that I'm going to have all my variables on. Once I've chosen the variable side, the other side automatically becomes the number side. So the steps to solve this equation are to look at the variable side and get rid of anything that isn't a variable, and that would be the 7. To get rid of 7, you subtract 7. Remember, this 7 is positive 7. Opposite of positive 7 is minus or negative 7. 
what you do on one side, you do on the other side, and you line up the minus 7 under the other number. Then you look at the number side, and you try to get all the numbers on this side so you get rid of anything that's a variable, in this case, negative 5n. So to get rid of negative 5n, you would add 5n. What you do on one side, you do on the other side, and you line it up with the other variable. So what you should notice every time you do a problem similar to these examples I'm showing you is on one side, something will cancel out. In this case, on the variable side, the numbers go away. And on the other side, the number side, the variables go away. And you should only have variables on the variable side and numbers on the number side. So negative 3n plus 5n leaves you with positive 2n equals 15 minus 7 equals 8. And now you've turned this complex variables on both sides problem into a simple one-step equation. Divide both sides by 2. N equals 4. Now, to check your answer, to make sure that you've done it correctly, you can take the number 4 and put it back into the equation in place of N. So a way to check your work is to write out 7 minus 3 times, and in place of n, put 4, equals negative 5 times 4 plus 15. 3 times 4 is 12, equals negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. If the answer is correct, then this equation will turn out to be a true equation. 7 minus 12 is negative 5, and negative 20 plus 15 is negative 5. It works. It checks. Your answer is correct. All right, last example. This problem says 6p minus 21 equals negative 9p plus 39. What I'd like you to do is hit the pause button and try this all by yourself, and then I'll give you the solution when you're done. All right, first step in this problem is to identify the variables and figure out which one is the biggest variable. 6p and negative 9p, the biggest one between them is 6p, so I make this side the variable side. This is the variable side. That means the other side of the equal sign is automatically the number side. Again, notice I'm labeling the variable side and the number side. You should be doing the same thing on your paper. Then you start with the variable side. You identify the 6p minus 21. You get rid of the minus 21 by adding 21. What you do on one side, you do on the other side and line it up under the other number. And then in the same step, you go to the number side. You've got numbers on there. You want to get rid of the minus 9p. You do the opposite. You add 9p. What you do on one side, you do on the other side. So in one step, on the number side, the variables go away. On the variable side, the numbers go away. And now you just add 6p plus 9p is 15p equals 39 plus 21 is 60. Now it's a one-step equation. Divide both sides by 15. And p equals 4. Again, if I wanted to check my answer on this problem, I'm going to take the number 4 and put it back into the original equation in place of P. So 6 times in place of P, I put 4. Minus 21 equals negative 9. In place of P, I put 4 plus 39. 6 times 4 is 24. Minus 21 equals negative 9 times 4 is negative 36 plus 39. 24 minus 21 is 3. Negative 36 plus 39 is 3. It's a true equation. It checks out. The answer is correct.